let's prove that there are infinitely many primes. Imagine that we went through all the numbers and we figured we've got a list of every single prime number that there is. Some finite list of all the prime numbers. In fact, I'll give you the list. It's 2 comma 3. Prime numbers, of course, are these special numbers, any positive integers that have exactly two factors, and then all the numbers that aren't prime, for example, something like 2 times 3 equals 6, are composed of the prime numbers, which is why we call them composite numbers. But if we add 1 to one of these composite numbers, we're always going to generate a new number that's no longer a multiple of the original primes we used to compose, in this case, 6. And if it's no longer a multiple of 2 or 3, there are only two possibilities. Either the number itself is prime, which obviously is the case here with 7, or it's a multiple of some prime number that wasn't on our original list. Either way, the original list must not actually have been the complete list of all possible primes, which shows us any finite list is incomplete. The list of primes must be infinite.